I think they're like, I'm hoping they're sort of wasps. Jeez, that was a bit scary. Right. Right, now what's happened there is that's just about perfect and I don't even have to walk all the way along. So the boat has come to a perfect stop just close. The front is just close to the bollard. You can't see it, but you hopefully will in a moment. I'm going to run along the side of the boat here. I'm going along this gunnel. We call it a gunnel. And I've got to get to the end of the boat before it drifts out, which is drifting out. Because if it drifts out, I've got to go all the way to the back again. Right, I'm going to jump off now. Oh no, I can't do that. Shit. That was a bad idea. Back on the boat before the boat drifts away. Right, okay, take two. Let's go in reverse. I should have brought the centre line out with me. That was an absolute cock up and a half. Should have brought the centre line out with me. Now the front end of the boat's gone all over the place. Across the canal. Another thing I used to do was to... I'm going to try this way then, seeing as the boat has gone across the canal due to my stupidity. What I'm going to try and do is lead the rope across. So the boat now, the front end of the boat up there, is uh, touching the bank. So I'm going to try. Now, it's even before I get there, I can tell it's going to... So let me get the boat back in. I was going to lead the rope across the bridge. Right. Okay. Now that, the boat should now be heading the way I want it to head. And the front end is going to be just into the corner there. My objective is to grab that front rope, the bow rope, and lead it across this bridge. So there's the bow rope. There we go. So this is the other way of doing it, really. Uh, so I'm passing it round the bridge structure. And if you look, you'll see a little bollard there. So go in between the bridge struts, or whatever they're called, and here's the rope. So again, just gonna... Oh! Well, that's great. The bow rope's come off. So let's get that back on. But the bow rope came off. Good job the boat wasn't moving. Or it would have been off across the canal. And I would have been wading to get it back. So, anyway, job's done. Here's the bollard. So I'm just gonna pull the boat, pull the boat back a little way. Okay, I'm getting the boat level with this bollard or close to it before I tie it on because if I leave, leave it loose, the front end will drift out and, you know, I don't want that. I want minimal drift really. So, so now you can see the boat is level with the bollard. So now, one, two, three, four, five, there we go. That there will hold the boat while I lift the mechanism. And the way I do that is this little, this is the bridge structure. The way I do that is this. Right, that's interesting. The windlass has to go in the large hole. Check around, no pedestrians coming. And now just wind the bugger. And I don't know if you could see the bridge is slowly lifting up as we wind. It's been like, has it been nine days? I think it's been nine days here. Uh, so apart from some cycling, I've not done any winding of windlasses and stuff. So I'm a little bit out of shape. And you can see the this big back end 
has swung down. So that's got a big weight in it and it helps to hold the bridge. So it means I don't have to... I'm not lifting the full weight of the bridge. I'm just encouraging that counterweight. Anyway, just in case any pedestrians come along, I don't want to hang about. So I'm going to untie the boat, walk back along the gunnel. In fact, I'm not going to walk back. I could walk back and steer the boat through. I think it makes more sense to push the boat through. So I'm going to uh, well, pull, pull. So off we go. Bit of a pull. Now I want enough of a pull for it to get through. But I've got the slippy bloody ground. Jeez, gotta be careful. Dangerous game. If you're not careful. So now I think I'm gonna struggle to get this rope around this bridge and keep the boat in my sight. So I think I am going to jump back on. I think I will. So, so I'm going to go, whoa, back along the, the gunnels. And just get the boat through underneath the structure. Okay, okay, so, boat's already nosing through, so now I'm going to just turn it slightly, I want the boat to go over to that side and nudge into a little nook, if I can call it that, a little recess where there should be a bollard, should be something to tie the back end onto. This is what I'm gonna do now, get the boat through there, and I'm gonna tie this back end, the stern rope, onto a bollard there to save it, obviously sailing on. And then I'm gonna lower the bridge. While the boat's tied up, I'm gonna lower the bridge back down. And I'm gonna uh, walk back. Oh, sorry, I can step straight on because the stern's going to be next to me. So no need to walk backwards and forwards along the gunnels when we're coming out under the bridge. Not a single pedestrian, so I'm not holding anyone up, and that's good. The next one is a lift bridge over a fairly frequently used road out of the village of Renbury. It's one of their main roads out. So that's going to be a bit more tricky. It's likely I'll hold up a couple of cars, but hopefully not for too long. Right. So, grab the stern rope. Grab the stern rope. And there's the bollard there. Grab the stern rope, hook it on the bollard. And once again, like last time, I don't want to tie it here in this situation because that's quite a length and the boat will drift quite a way away from me. So my thinking is get, let the boat get kind of level. I want a short rope between the bollard and the boat there. So let the boat get level. There we go, that's about level. I'll tie the thing on. There we go. As I say, for a couple of minutes, five or six little goes will do it. And now I can lower this bridge and then get back on the boat. Okay, right, that's off, so. In theory, yeah, it is easier. It should be easier to lower the bridge. And as you can see behind me, the big weight, big counterweight is moving. But <clears throat> it's not too bad this, to be fair. I'm puffing and patting, that's because I'm dreadfully out of shape. It's pretty much a toddle, really. So, uh, boat's now through, and the bridge, let's see, is just about down. And what's interesting, what's interesting about the next one is it's electric. The next, next swing bridge is electric. So that's gonna be good. So the boat 
drifted a little bit so rather than jump I'm going to pull it back the bike's a bit of a nuisance really okay that didn't go well So, I've untied the rope from the bollard. Now I just pull the boat back to me. Yeah, I'm sure you can probably see now why this would be a pain in high winds. Because you've only ever got one end of the boat secured. So if it's at all windy, which it was yesterday, last few days, the boat uh, can go sailing off all over the show so bridge down got the windlass good to go uh. okay so I was hoping just bumped the bank there I was hoping I'd get some assistance like, as I said, a couple of boats would be going past, but no book is moving. So, I came down this canal last summer. I spent six months on this canal last summer. Uh, so, this period is going to be very different than I'm going to spend on it. Perhaps a month, perhaps two. Got to be off by the end of December because they're closing the locks up at Hurlston there that I went through a few days ago closing those for a month and they're closing the locks ahead of me as well uh, anyway you know show you later on just do that separately but they're closing locks and uh, I think two months is enough on, on this canal to plenty really uh, so I'm going to aim to make sure <laughs> I'm going to aim to make sure that I'm back off this canal uh, when's it going to be? Uh, yeah, end of December. Jesus, what am I thinking? Right. I'm thinking about, you know, I'm distracted thinking about that mechanism. Because I came, the thing I was going to say was, I uh, came on this canal last year. And um, I got help through this, this one with a road, a proper road with vehicles and traffic. Um, I got help both directions. First one. It was a hire boat with loads of kids and they just all jumped off and worked the mechanism and it was brilliant, I just sailed through. Um, and on the way back, a girl from the, there's a hire base just by the bridge and they, she worked it for me, which is which, that's just brilliant. Because my key was wrong to work, didn't have the right key. Um, anyway, um, so as it transpired, this is this will be the first time I've done it myself, even though it's my second time on the canal. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, and we'll see. 